Helen Bradley was born in Lees, Lancashire in 1900. She began painting in earnest only in the 1960s, but then produced a steady stream of work until her death in 1979. Through it, she weaves a beguiling tapestry of daily life in a small Lancashire mill town in the early 1900s, accompanied by brief narratives explaining the action. Real characters and actual episodes from her own childhood are skillfully interwoven with flights of pure fantasy, producing a unique blend of reality and fiction, the hallmark of a true artist. The charm of her work lies in her ability to capture the essence of a time when children were seen and not heard, but nevertheless noticed everything that was going on. Helen paints this world as it was seen through the eye a child's eyes, and a careful observer can usually spot the youthful Helen lurking in the pictures. The Wakes Comes to Lees. For one Saturday in August, the fair came with the gypsies, their caravans, horses and dogs to set up their stalls and roundabouts. Father always came with us. He is lifting George up so they can see the traction engine working. I did not like the noise it made. Miss Carter, who wore pink, was there. So also was Miss Maitland and Mr. Taylor, the bank manager. And the year was 1906. The charm of Helen Bradley's art lies in her blend of nostalgia and homeliness. Unlike many artists who write or paint scenes from childhood, Helen Bradley actually becomes a child again. She relives events and sees them, sees them through a child's eyes rather than simply looking back as an adult. This results in a wonderful sense of fun in her pictures. This is life without any pretensions. Her pictures have an exquisite attention to detail. You can stand for hours gazing and find so much to study. If that were not joy enough, many of the characters in Henry Bradley's pictures reappear in other pictures to continue the story. So her, her art has all the fascination of a run, long running serial. Before long, we were caught up in another episode. Will Miss Carter gain the longed for proposal of marriage? Helen Bradley, the consummate storyteller, has ensnared us. Children, said Great Aunt Mary, would you like to look at the big boiler fires? Oh, yes, please, said George and I. So Aunt Mary took us into the mill yard and we warmed our hands at the glowing fires. Mother, Grandma, Aunt Mary, Aunt Frances and Miss Carter, who wore pink, been up Springhead to visit Great Aunt Jane. Today we were rather late going home and got caught up in the rush of people coming out of the county end mill, so George and I could only have a peek at the big mill fires. Mr Taylor, the bank manager, is meeting us and we were all going to Grandma's for tea. And the year was 1907. Today, Helen Bradley is recognised as a major naive artist of the 20th century, Britain's equivalent to the American Grandma Moses. Her subject matter is idiosyncratic and her painting techniques unconventional. The result is sheer delight, accessible to everyone and loved by thousands. Helen Bradley's first London exhibition was held in WH Patterson in 1977 and her second exhibition at the gallery was to take place in 1979. Bill Patterson had become her close friend as well as her agent during these years. In 1979, Helen Bradley was to be presented with an MBE for her contribution to the arts by Her Majesty the Queen, and she had asked that Bill accompany her on this momentous occasion. Sadly, Helen died one week before she was due to receive her MBE, but she has left an everlasting legacy for everyone to enjoy.